guys, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. We are finally in Raleigh. Got the drone set up. We're going to be taking off about east from the museum. And here we go. Stand by for precision takeoff. All right, guys, there we are. We're about 50 feet up, and we're going to climb to about 150. And there we are. We are at 164, and forward field of view coming on. Oop, a little bit too much. All right, let's get some orientation. The good day to fly, we've only got four mile per hour winds. And let's rotate around. Let's try and do this smoother, but it's a little bit choppy, so. And there it is. There is Raleigh. I think time's right about four o'clock. Last I looked. Alright, so it looks like we've got the sun to our face here. So let's get some altitude. We're going to take it up to 400 feet. And maybe stop around 300. All right. All right. So let's have a look down here. Yay. Finally. <laughs> Shout out to Michael right now. You're my hero, man. You got me to. Get off my ass and do this. So, thank you. All right, guys. So, that is, I believe, the Museum of Natural History. It's 300 feet. We're clear. So, I'm going to just start pushing forward on the throttle a little bit. And we are flying along at about 11 miles per hour. All right. So this is just going to be an orientation flight. In fact, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take it up to a higher altitude here because this is my first time here, and I want to make sure that I get to know the heights of these buildings. So I guess we could start out. We'll take a look at the museum from the front. This is the uh, Natural History Museum. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly over here, and that way we can get a shot of it. Our altitude is 312 feet right now, so we are well above buildings, no problem there. And according to the GPS map, if I swing it around, wow, look at that. Let's pan down, we can see the globe, we should be able to see it. At least I think there's a globe. I have to excuse me. I have not been to Raleigh in so many years. This is like my first time back here, and obviously I've never seen it from the air. Alright, so we're gonna back up a little bit. Oops, that was the uh, descent. Let's get some altitude back. Alright, so we're gonna take it up to we're about 340 feet. Go a little higher. There we go. 350. And I'll give you just a little sideways action. Ah, there's the globe. I knew there was a big giant globe here somewhere, guys. There it is. So that is the Natural History Museum, as I've never seen it before. The traffic down there. Yeah, we're we're just gonna keep it at a higher altitude today. This is like basically an orientation flight. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy here, guys. I just wanna check out the check out the view. Alright, and we are cruising. Okay, let me get the uh, forward camera up. 
And wouldn't you know it, the sun's right in my face here. Kind of want to look down, but I want to keep like a slightly forward attitude because even though we're at 350 feet, it's just the the paranoia. You know, you just don't want to do crazy. I've got a little bit of weak signal, so I'm get out of the car. Gonna kind of stop here. And that's something else I've never dealt with: is interference in the city. Well, look at that! Wow, guys! I've lived here almost 20 years, and I've never seen it like this. At least not not by my hand. There you are. All right, so what I'm going to do is pick a street that has some fairly low buildings so we can fly over comfortably. And this looks like a good spot right here, so. Uh, oh, there's the uh, round mini Capitol records. Uh, it used to be a holiday in a long time ago. Let's see if we can, see if we can fly over there. Not sure what kind of range we're going to get out of this year. Uh, I'm going to open up the EV just a little bit. I don't know if that might be a little bit too much, maybe a little bit too down. But kind of a minus two. Alright, so we're going to try flying over there. Distance is about 1,600 right now. Feet. Look at that. Alright. Alright, so this looks like a good street we can follow. I don't know if this is what connects into South Saunders. I really have no idea where I am. You guys can yell at me in the comment section. Tell me, like, hey, you don't know where you are. Yeah, this looks good here. So here we go. We're going to follow this a little bit. Cruising at 20 miles per hour. All right, so we are 2,000 feet distance. What I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to see how far I can get straight, and then what I'm going to do is put it sideways, and we're going to fly horizontally so we can get a nice city skyline view, and the sun should be illuminating it if I'm judging the sun right. The sun is to the right of the aircraft right now. Looking good. These little antenna doodads that I have, these little dishes are working great. We are at 2,500 feet and still solid signal. No wind warnings whatsoever. Great day to fly. All right, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna just pick the camera up a little bit, rotate up a little bit, and then let's see what we've got here. We should be able to see the majority of the buildings. There we go. Trying to give you a nice slow rotation, but sorry, it's a little bit choppy due to the radio interference. Wow, look at that, guys. You know what, Mike? Look at this. Wow. I believe the building over there is the RBC Tower. It used to be, P or actually it's the PNC Tower. It used to be RBC. Maybe it's something else now. We're going to pan around here. This is a building I don't recognize. It's a nice building. That is very cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the formerly RBC, used to be PNC, maybe still is PNC Bank. I guess we'll know when we fly over it. Okay, so we can judge our altitude. So I'm about at the limits, guys. I'm right. At, I'm exactly 400 feet right now, so that building is definitely taller than 400. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little flyover towards it. That way we can close the radio distance a little bit. We're 2,600 feet and dropping for distance. Wow, look at that. 
All right, now since this building is taller. All right, so apparently there's a no-fly zone there. I'm approaching that, or appro approaching it, so it's indicating something. So what we're going to do is, I guess, go over here. I guess I have to feel out. I'm not seeing a no-fly zone indicator. Restricted zone reached. All right, so that's a restricted zone. See, we just learned something. Man, we're always more locked down than Philly. All right, so we're going to go back to our original plan, which is we're going to fly sideways. Actually, we'll get our position back. All right. Restricted zone reached. Yeah, 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 we're leaving, we're leaving. Shut your hole. Wow, so it must be some super secret stuff there, guys. Oh, I see it on the map. There's a block on the GPS. You can't see it. Um, I can see it. Well, I guess I could figure out a way to show that on the map. But there is a some kind of city block that's restricted. So maybe it's like police or super secret FBI stuff. I don't know. I never figured Raleigh was all that big of a secretive city. So we're going to fly over here to the mini Capitol Records building. If you're watching this from L.A., you'll get that reference because it really looks like a copy of the Capitol Records building in, uh, in Los Angeles. Okay, so we're approaching this guy here. And let's slide left. And we're going to slide and rotate. So we're basically going to do a manual orbit on this building for you. Which is basically accomplished by slight push to the opposite direction with the rotation stick, and then we're pushing left on the directional. Altitude zone reached. Altitude zone reached. And apparently we're in some other stupid zone here, so Raleigh will be tricky. I guess so we'll be. Altitude zone reached. So there's apparently something beyond that building as well. So another boundary discovered. Annoying. Okay. I think this is West Davies, maybe. Alright, so let's pitch camera forward. Well, we might be able to orbit this building here. Maybe this is not it. This one looks like it won't be in a restricted zone, and it looks interesting, so we'll have a look-see. Also, I might be able to get behind that uh, big white tower by flying from the other direction, so I just can't approach it from the front, it looks like. But that's okay. I've got something cool for you guys right here. Check this out. Wow. That is cool. Okay. I don't want to get too close. Now we're going to do a little manual rotation around it. Look at that, guys. You know, I'll tell you what, it was a pain in the ass driving through the city, even though it was after rush hour, but me living out in the country, I tell you, I get. I got used to like not having to deal with so much crap, so it's kind of it's kind of amazing that I can do more with the drone than with the car. I mean, this was how long would this take you to go sightseeing? You know what we're doing just in a few minutes. You get to see Raleigh in a very convenient fashion. Okay, gotta bring the altitude down just a little bit. All right, so let me put the nose up here. Okay, so we're going to try to approach this building from this side. I just want to have a look at it. And we look like we're clear everywhere else. I tell you what, if you've never flown in a city, it is a very different experience from flying uh, in rural areas. It's very stressful. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but stressful. Okay, so we are getting close here. I 
This is pretty cool, guys. I can't get ready to lose your lunch. We're going to now look down. Woo! That's life from 400 feet up. Yeah, we're going to orbit. Yeah, it's going to take me a while to learn, learn this, guys, but this is just the inaugural flight, so just getting used to it. All right, so nothing crazy over here. This is all pretty low-level, low-level buildings here. And yeah, all this side. This is the south side of Raleigh, so this is pretty, pretty low building. So no problems there. And right, so we're gonna push forward. And then we're going to do a nice, slow, rotating turn. I got to tell you, though, this is so much fun. Looks like a more beginner area to fly in. We can see some traffic. Well, Michael, I don't see any birds. There's no birds here. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. All right. So let's swing it around. Wow, we're really close to the parking lot. We're, I'm only 80 feet from where we are, so let's have a look down real quick. And... Low battery warning. Oh, boy, was that on time or what? Battery crapped out right as we're home. All right, so, yeah, you can see uh, right in the center of the screen there's a fat guy next to a helipad and a Prius. That's me. All right, so we're at 30% battery, so what we're going to do is I want to get just one last one last shot since we're so close to home. And I want to get the maximum use out of these batteries. All right, so I'm actually going to fly a little bit away just so we can get this city shot here. with the other battery, so no problem. And the sun's going down, so we're definitely going to be able to get a sunset, and hopefully we can get like a really pretty sunset from here. So we're just going to do a nice sweep. Uh, that's North Raleigh, way in the distance. And we are now starting to rotate east. Definitely not as big as Philadelphia. <laughs> they put up a couple buildings since I've been here, but uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. And there we go. That is pretty much one rotation arc. And I'm going to do one more fun thing we're gonna just fly straight towards that since we're not really far away I'm only 500 feet so it will only take this thing a minute or two to get back to home battery level is low the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds all right so it's insisting so go home. we are going to be going home so we're on autopilot now It's, it's returning home, guys. And what I'm going to see if I can, uh, since it's on autopilot, I'm going to try to get a picture of it with the FZ-80 camera. 
don't see it yet. It is zero zero. It's right up. All right, here we go. We can. Try to get a shot, couldn't do it, but we are landing. Want to close the door and pitch the camera down. And let's see if precision landing uh, brings her in. Uh, this is all autopilot. And precision landing activating. Two, one, and we have touched it down. All right, so 21-minute flight, and we're gonna swap batteries and go again.